During the earthquake, the building moved and shifted uh, in various directions. The best way to describe it is the building kind of moves like a slinky. It's back and forth, twisting. There was an up-down motion. That wood building is a very strong building. Built to sustain an earthquake up to about a 9.0. It's a very good uh, mitigation story. Uh, we saw that there was uh, minimal damage. There was a, a broken water pipe that caused uh, some water damage on one of the uh, upper floors. But besides that, there was just cosmetic uh, damage to some of the, some of the walls that, that will be easily repaired. The building itself was built um, steel, concrete and steel outside uh, columns along with uh, a sheer steel wall in the middle. Uh, and all the floors are, are sort of made to sort of twist and move around that. As long as I've seen earthquakes here, I have not seen any structural damage. And we've had inspection after inspection after these earthquakes. So certainly I see a lot of resilience as I visit Alaska. And I think that they're even more committed to doing more in the future to try to make their communities and the state as resilient as possible.